In the rural heartlands of North Brabant, a tale as old as the fields themselves whispers through the villages. A tale of a violinist whose melodies could sway more than just the hearts of men, but also the shadowy spirits of the night. Known to all was the chilling saga of how this musician, seeking fortune, played his violin for an audience of witches and received a reward that was not as it seemed. Welcome to this week's episode. Jasper, a skilled but impoverished violinist from a small North Brabant village, had heard legends of mystical gatherings in the woods where witches danced under the moonlight. Driven by desperation and the lure of old tales suggesting that such creatures rewarded those who entertained them, Jasper decided to seek out these gatherings. His hope was simple yet profoundly risky, to play for the witches and claim the gold they were rumored to offer. One crisp autumn evening, Armed with nothing but his cherished violin, Jasper ventured into the dense forest that bordered his village. The trees stood like silent sentinels in the moonlight, and the further Jasper walked, the more the quiet of the night seemed to hum with an unseen energy. As midnight approached, Jasper reached a clearing known locally as the Witch's Hollow. There, to his astonishment and terror, he found his audience, a circle of shadowy figures, their faces obscured, their whispers blending with the rustle of the leaves. Swallowing his fear, Jasper lifted his violin and began to play. The music that flowed from his violin was mesmerizing, filled with a haunting beauty that seemed to enchant the very air. The witches danced, their forms blurring in the moonlight, circling Jasper as he played with growing fervor. As the last note quivered into silence, one of the witches stepped forward, her hand extended, offering Jasper a sack heavy with what appeared to be gold coins. Overjoyed and relieved, Jasper hurried home with his prize. But as dawn broke and he eagerly poured out the coins, his joy turned to despair. The gold transformed before his eyes, not into the wealth he had dreamed of, but into a pile of door bladron, dry leaves, worthless and mocking. The realization of his curse crushed Jasper. He had been warned of the capricious nature of witchcraft, Yet he had not truly believed it until that moment. Fearful of what the witches might demand next or if the curse could bring worse upon him, Jasper hid the leaves away, hoping to forget the night's events. Days turned into weeks, and Jasper found no peace. Each night, the haunting melodies he had played echoed in his dreams, and each day, he felt the gaze of unseen eyes upon him. The villagers began to whisper, noticing his growing paranoia and isolation. Rumors spread that Jasper had meddled with forces beyond his comprehension. What became of Jasper, the cursed violinist of North Brabant, remains unknown. Some say he disappeared, seeking a way to lift his curse, venturing again into the woods, never to return. Others claim he went mad, his mind lost to the spectral melodies he could no longer escape. As the story of Jasper's fateful performance lives on, one must wonder. What forces lurk in the shadows, waiting for the next desperate soul to play their tune? Would you dare to play for such a treacherous audience if the chance arose? And more hauntingly, what price might you pay for the melodies you weave in the dark? Leave a like, consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment and tell us your favorite part. To seize the opportunity, 